Um, recommended document size. I guess we'll start at the beginning. Um, canvas size. 300 dpi is pretty much what you always want to start drawing out, especially if you're going to be selling prints. Um, this is 2000 by 2800. Um, for finished concept art, you're going to want to go a lot bigger than that, but for quick stuff or even just roughing things out, 2000 ballpark's fine. Um, I have a lot of things open right now, so I really don't feel like having some giant document. Anyway, um, so it's a little darker blue at the top. We're just gonna gradient stuff in pretty much. This is having a horrible time picking up my pen taps. Make another layer. We'll just actually I'm gonna do what I did now that I didn't do last time, which is like sketch in the picture. Especially if you're trying, like it can you can go into the lasso to like right off the bat, but it can kinda help if you um before you do that you kind of sketch out a feel of the piece that you're trying to do first. And then you can like move it around and stuff and it's easier than dealing with. And even if you're trying to copy like an actual picture just to learn some stuff, you can still change it up a little bit if you want for like compositional reasons or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, this is one way song. I don't want to listen to this song right now. Okay. Uh -huh. I think part of the ceiling just fell on my head. <laughs> Oh dear god. I mean, it is over 100 years old. That's what we get. Trying to be edgy and hipster. Alright, so like, we kind of have a couple different planes. Like, obviously, these two are going to be far back. This one's even farther back than the others, so... Um... This will be way in the back. This will be kind of that. This will be pretty prominent. Obviously our foregrounds here are going to be the darkest. And we've got flowers here. Because like sometimes with the lasso tool thing it can be hard to like just freehand it off the bat. So usually this is how I start out pictures. <laughs> and then you've got the option of either um, lowering the opacity of the sketch and going in and doing like super fine line art. Like if you're going for more of like a cartoony or Gravity Falls style and you want line art there, I would still do like a sketch like this. And then you would, you know, lower your opacity, make a new layer, zoom in, you know, grab your pencil, and then you'd be like, okay, it's time to make some, like, hella solid line art. But, I don't think... No, we're not gonna do that this time. Well, let me see. No. I think we're going to still do the lasso tool thing. Because I'm going to paint over it probably. Because I definitely want, I know I want the edges to be rougher, but I don't want the piece to have line art. So there's not really a point to me like drawing this out. But now that I've got a guideline and I kind of have an idea, I can. Oh, nope, I can't because I messed up my hand. And you can, like, loop it off and hold down on shift and, like, 
add more pieces like this so it's a little easier on your hand and you don't need to get it all in one go. That's good to know. Yeah. I'm tagging you on everything just <laughs> So there's a mountain and then we make a layer behind it and get in the second mountain. And you can do the background all in one swoop, even though they're going to be different colors. They're, as long as they're on the same layer, it doesn't really matter. Make some mountains in front of it. We've got one mountain here. And for now, we're just going to keep taking this darker and darker color-wise. And then we've got that one here. That needs to be darker like that. That's a general ballpark. Not perfect, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, so then you erase your th or hide your um will this video be on Patreon? Yes. That is actually the main reason why I've decided to stream slash record from work. <laughs> Because I needed a decent landscape video for Patreon. I don't have one yet. Um, so yeah, now we're going to go in, and this is what I mean by like roughing up the edges. Like Just grab any textured brush and just sort of dragging over the edges to give it, give it some character. We're gonna do the same thing back here. The what? It's the Japanese word for cake, but it's actually Los Ayago, which is English Japanese. Because Japanese is stupid. I'm actually gonna walk this back here. So now I'm just locking these different sections and kind of going in to gradient them. This one, as we can see, has a pretty dark rim here, and it's a little bluer. So we can go like that and then grab the paintbrush over it and take some of the lighter colors. Though for this, I'm going to make a clipping mask over top of it because I want the ability to like mess up here and not mess up this gradient. And you can go in and kind of do whatever you want. And you're free to, like like I said, erase. And you're not taking out the gradient that you've already spent time putting down. Oh, that's good to know. That would have been useful earlier. <laughs> you can just kind of white all that out. Eventually, that's going to need to go wider and even a little bit of green into it. But that would kind of follow more like final detail stuff. We don't need to worry about that quite yet. We're going to add a little bit of shading under this strictly because I want to be able to drag this texture like this without messing up this. So now we're like between them. And this is where you don't really have to follow the picture exactly. You can just kind of do whatever you want, whatever you think looks cool. The picture is more of a guideline because for learning it helps to sort of have... I don't know, I, I think it's actually interesting to learn if you're trying to solve like a problem. Like how would I do this specific painting thing?
what's the difference between using a Cintiq and an Intuos? Um, in quality of art, not much. I mean, it's possible to do very good quality work on both of them. Uh, the Cintiq, you will find a little more natural, I guess, because you are still ultimately drawing with like your hands, like you're seeing where you're drawing, which is very uh, helpful, I guess. So it's nice in that sense. But both have about the same range of sensitivity, actually, and you can do very good work with both of them. All right, so that's two green. We need to take that into the orange, but I'm gonna leave it like that for now. <laughs> Why not? I need to get this back mountain darker back here. And so we can go in and start to add in our clouds and stuff. Oh, God. <laughs> Baby, no. Are we on display again? Yeah, we are. We're like low key, like zoo animals here. <laughs> And, like there's purple in the sky and stuff like that but a lot of the like slight color variations it's easier to just kind of go in after you get a general feel for things out like I see purple in the sky and I see purple in the mountain and I see green on the mountain and those are all good things to notice but um we don't really need to worry about them quite yet it would be much easier to go in with like a soft light layer and start adding in subtle color variations like that when you're closer to like the merge everything in paint stage. Um, we got a lot of blue up here. Um, so grab a blue purple. Two blue. Can you just, I'm gonna leave the Twitch because I keep trying to answer everyone. <laughs> Watched you do that and I still don't know how you did that. Did what? That. I mean, you just tap, 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 tap. <coughs> A lot of your texture brushes, you don't need to scribble to get the texture. You should try just tapping them and see what happens. Um, with a lot of texture brushes, um, honestly. Because <laughs> what you're after is, you know, that shape. I need like a pale teal almost for the little darker. It's like a dusky teal. More blue. This is where color picking gets interesting. That's actually kind of close.
Um, for up here, I'm really just trying to rough in where I see, like, the light and the darks over here. Like, over here, that's almost black there in the picture. And always working very general to specific. Like we're not super concerned with, you know, zooming in and making sure every flower is correct yet. It's easier just to, at a glance, see if it's reading right in this thumbnail. Honestly, up here is where you want to look. Like this is way too dark blue because I can look at the thumbnail and see it. that is pretty freaking blue. So what I want to do is go more like that. There's some like green back in here, so we're gonna take the green that was back here that we already picked before and lightly mix it in up here. Um, you can kind of see up in the thumbnail that now looks way more realistic than you know the neon blue we had a couple steps ago. Um, this needs to be toned down a bit. Waves, yeah, it kind of looks like waves. Sky waves. <laughs> My dad said I should tell the school about that girl in the coffee. I don't know if I would or not. That's a tough call. It would definitely be a dick move. So at this point, I'm gonna go in and start just adding little dots for flowers, like just where I, like they're bunched up here and they're bunched over here. So I'm just gonna go in. I should probably make a new layer for this just so I can go in and add stems and stuff under them when I want later. Needs to be a little lighter so they show up over the background we've already got. And it's just nice contrast. This is where you could start to worry less about the reference image too. Like now that we've pretty much got a good base down, um, the mountain needs a little bit more touch up. Um, I would, it's almost got more blue in it. Like, it's still more blue. You c actually, this entire thing could use some haze just in general. So over top of this mountain but behind everything else. We can get our gradient tool again, color pick the sky, and just sort of... Uh, actually, I want it more blue than that, because it's pretty blue. When in doubt, atmosphere is usually blue. <laughs> but you can lower that, so it's more like that. You lower it a little bit so the mountain's not so obscured. And that's not bad. Oh, 
this mountain is still a little weird to me. This one, it's really dark. I mean, this mountain, this hill here, and this are actually really similar in ballpark of like their tone, like how dark they are. Just looks a little funny to me. Thank you, Cryptopine. Actually, just gonna add blue over this and lower the opacity and see if that. Mm. That's a little better. Um, the mountain needs more highlights. It's almost white in some parts. And because, like, all of this is its own little layer, yeah. you can lock it and just go in. Just get fucked. Get fucked. <laughs> Yes, and that's a big thing with, um, especially learning from references, is at some point, you have the, you really have the freedom to do whatever you want, and I actually think it's more fun to just sort of use it as a springboard, but you'll, uh, enjoy it the most when you're just kind of going at it. We need some more bluey purple back in here. We've got, I don't know what the hell's back there actually. It looks like a snow cap. Maybe I'll, I'll I'm gonna, I guess it's a snow cap. <laughs> It is now. <laughs> now, our hills are actually a little lower than they are in the other picture. So I'm going to legit just grab all the fucking hills and move them up because I like it better the other way it's balanced more maybe not though I don't know what we're doing Painting landscape. this is where my picture is different enough from the reference image that it's just kind of whatever you feel works the best in particular, I can't say I'm happy with these hills here. They're off balance and feel weird to me, so we're gonna like free transform them and see if we can. That's the key to succeeding. Yep. Free transform. Free transform. Who cares? Yo, swag. We can stretch mm -hmm. that out. Ah, no, not transform section. There. Like, that to me is way more balanced than, like, that. It's not a huge difference, but it's just enough to fill out, like, this empty space that was, like, down here and open up this. So now that feels more balanced, and we gotta remember to crop up here. This is a good time to check our rule of thirds to see, you know, everything all 
nice and balanced in that square shit. It's <laughs> also a good time to save. Good time to save. <laughs> what are we, logical art students? No. No saving. <laughs> no saving, we die like men. <laughs> How long have you been practicing landscapes? 30 minutes, 21 seconds. <laughs> 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 yeah, I've been uh, practicing landscapes for about uh, 30 minutes now, <laughs> and uh, f it's going pretty good if I do say so myself. It's like I should do this for a living or something. Did I show you? I'm going to show you guys. Oh, what? Actually, before we get into Flower Hell, at this point, I'm going to get rid of this. We don't need no crutch. Alright, so at some point, destroy your reference image. Weren't the other two on you? Doesn't matter. Oh, okay. I'll find them later. You're right. <laughs> but, doesn't matter. Can't live in the past. The past was like three seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... What are we going to do? First, we're going to throw these into a folder because, yeah, and then we're going to duplicate that folder, so, and then we're going to merge it. So, Patreon still has all the files, and I have a picture I can do whatever I want with. Image auto contrast, because that usually helps make things darker. <laughs> so that's, that's what it does. Wouldn't the curve tool also do that? Yeah, but the curve tool takes a way more effort. I don't particularly like auto color or auto tone on this picture. It makes it disgusting. Mm -hmm. So we're done. We're just going to auto contrast. We are going to color balance. We're going to get more reds up in here and some greens and some... I don't actually know. Maybe not. Purple is nice. Just come to my attention. We don't have a lot of color variation in this picture. You know what? Screw this. We're not going to do that quite yet. We need some color. We need some color. Let's get some lighting up in this bitch. Um, color dodge? Color doge? <laughs> ah! Okay, I'll do that. Are you ready to cry? No. It's gorgeous. My very first attempt it was like a month ago. <laughs> I like her hair. I'm talking about the terrible house behind the first one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I told my dad I didn't want to tell him that girl, and he goes, That's nice of you. Are you planning to blackmail her later? Well, the blackmail's not going to work if she's already graduated. Yeah. is just horrifying colors, quite frankly. Just repulsive. Quite frankly, horrendous. <laughs> Alright, this is Operation... I can't believe I've done this. Oh, what am I doing? I don't know. This is the fun part of painting. This is where the pain part of painting comes in. You know what? No, we're not we're not gonna deal with all this mergy layer bullshit yet. Not yet. So our goal now is to get more just color in, in general, make it a little more vibrant. Um, I'm going to try to bring in some more truer blues.
Thank you, Lily. Don't same. <laughs> don't don't do that. So if you make a clipping mask, does it make like a new layer for it? You turn a layer into a clipping mask. So like it's not so much like I just like oh like well yeah, you have to like make a new layer and then right click it and hit create clipping mask. Okay. Then you're good. I think what we're going to do actually for the back is where to go 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 I'm going to treat these as less of two separate hills and kind of pull color from this into this one maybe no hmm Oh, Ricky, it's okay. Good luck with college stuffs. It's just an ugly color. What am I doing? Who let me draw? Fuck. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Okay, but what about pink? <laughs> what about just pink? Just... Yes, perfect. You know, what's funny is you say that, but I could make that work. I was only half joking. You saw how much pink I used on the ones I did, didn't you? <laughs> Why not? Let's do it! See ya. Now our goal is to balance out the pink around the rest of the picture. So it's not so 
just in one spot. We may even be able to fit our lighting layer in between these. Hello. <laughs> A little bright. Something like... Still not ideal. Yes, more pink. Always more pink. <laughs> I don't know where it is. I saw the sticker sheet. Yay! That's like the only original art I have in my hair shop. If this turns out good, will you put it on the store? I mean, do you think it's good <laughs> now? <laughs> like, what, what's the criteria here? Yes. Oh my gosh, I think Kyle has just like had a life revolution. He hated working at Subway so much. And not the new Subway. He's like, everyone likes me. There's no need customers. Is this what being appreciated is like? <laughs> he walked in there and they were like, oh man, we're slammed. And they had like four people and he almost started crying because slammed at the other Subway was like 30 people. <laughs> doing. The more I touch it, the less I like it. What? So the more I touch it, the less I like it. Isn't that just the constant struggle of being an artist? Yup. Yup.
Are working on things. You have brainwashed this person. What have I done? You have brainwashed. <laughs> Let's just let's just see what happens. Just do it. Okay, now we're just gonna go in and start painting details because I think I'll like it more after I get like some of this just Yeah. It, it's just it's a bit odd, but um I think it's mainly because I just I don't have like flowers or anything anywhere. It's just all insanity. What? What do you press to do that? R. I did that on mine and it did not do that. You might need to set it up to do that. I don't know. I think it's just a default Photoshop thing, but. It's Carry You by Novo Amor, the same band that does the anchor. Uh, you could probably just find a bunch of stuff by them. Oh look, anchor's next. Lucky us. So 